Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So glad you guys are here. I've got lots of favorites to share with you guys this month. January tends to be one of my favorite months of the year. We have had some cold days, but we haven't had the big blizzardy, blizzardy snow days that other parts of the country have had, and I've really missed that. I live in Texas, so I've tried to create my own cozy atmosphere by reading lots of good books, snuggling in at home, just enjoying this part of the year. Wanted to go ahead and start with some of my favorite books. I have three books to share this month. I have been reading a lot and I found a lot of great things. So here they are. They're in no particular order. This is the first book that I actually finished this month. This is called Indestructible, Leveraging Your Broken Heart to Become a Force of Love and Change in the World by Allison Fallon. And I love this book, guys. It's so good. Allison is a writer's writer and she's also a book coach. Writers hire her her to help them organize their book and help them flesh out the specific structure of their book. And it's on my bucket list, my dream list, to work with her one day. I met her briefly at a writing conference a handful of years ago. She went through a really painful divorce and she has come out on the other side and healthy and all the wiser. She shares her story in this book. This is not something that I have struggled through, but I feel like whether you've struggled through what she has or not, she writes it in such a way that it's really helpful. It's really, really beautiful writing. I wrote down a lot of takeaways from this book because it's so well written and I think she really tries to share her story in a way that's helpful to lots of people. So really, really love this one. Of course, I'll have the link to this book and everything else I talk about down below. That was my first read of the year. The second book is a mystery. It's a cozy mystery, which I know sounds like a terrible term. This series has a reputation in the literary world as being an amazing mystery series. Louise Penny writes books about a little beautiful sleepy town called Three Pines in Montreal, Quebec. The main character in her books is the inspector Armand Gamache. All of these books build on each other. I started them last year. I read the first two of them at the beginning of last year. And then I started this one and kind of picked it up and put it down and forgot about it. So I thought, you know, this is a good time to get back into reading mysteries. And so I picked this up and raced through it. I don't know why I wasn't into it last year. It's not because the book wasn't wonderful. I just sit down and pick up books depending on my mood, as you do with your reading. And really, really love this one. It was a very riveting mystery. A little spooky for me uh, just because of the circumstances surrounding it. But again, start with the first book if you don't know this series, which is called Still Life. Then the second one's called A Fatal Grace. I've already picked up the fourth one. I love it. There are 12 books already in the series and you need to read them in order. I can see how the books are linking to each other because the inspector is working on a mystery, but there is an overarching kind of other mystery happening with some of the other characters. And this book really started to weave that through line together really well. The thing I love about these is Louise Penny talks about the fact that she really likes to write about characters and the ins and outs of their psyche and their lives and their stories and how they connect with each other, that that's really the heart of why she loves to write these books. I have also heard the first three for some people are slow, but then book four and on it picks up and everyone just races through them. I would say the first part of the first book, Still Life, was slow. I loved the second one. I raced through it, but I got into it right away and it was a quick read. So for me, I love them. I've just started the fourth one. They're great. Check these out if you love mysteries. Louise Penny. She's amazing. And then this third book is not something that I probably would have picked up on my own, but I happened to be in a book club where they were reading and discussing this book, so I picked it up. I'm so glad I did. This is Becoming. This is Michelle Obama's memoir. This was the highest selling book of all of 2018, which I think speaks pretty highly because this book came out in the middle of November last year, so towards the end of the year. Obviously, she's a public figure. Everyone wants to read her memoirs, but I was really, really impressed with the quality of writing in this one. I didn't know if I was going to be able to really get into it. Um, I've always thought Michelle Obama was an interesting person and I love learning about how she grew up and her education. It was awesome and I'm actually not quite done. I'm at the very end of the book and she goes chronologically, starts with her childhood and works through to when her husband was elected president. So I'm actually just now kind of in the last part of the book in those years of her life, which are fascinating. She talks a lot about living in the White House and what that was like. I really, really enjoyed learning about her growing up years and how she became who she was. If you like memoir, biography, well-written memoir, it's great. Those were my books. And then, let's see, I have a couple of stationary journal products because, you know, I love those things. I'm always sharing them with you. I talked about this book in a video that I will link above. I made an unboxing video for this. This is the Baron and Fig James Clear Journal Collaboration. This is the Clear Habit Journal. James Clear wrote the book Atomic
Atomic Habits, which I have now finally ordered. It should be here in another week or two. I'm going to start that. A lot of people I know are reading it and loving it, just about how to incorporate good habits in your life. And he did this collaboration with the New York-based stationery company, Baron and Fig. I really, really want to get a Baron and Fig pen. And you know when I get one, I'll do an unboxing on the channel. I thought it was really well priced. It's basically a bullet journal set up in a specific way. Uh, most of the journal is a dot grid. So if you do bullet journaling, you would love this one. It's slightly smaller than a standard Leuchtturm size. You can see that even though this is a little smaller, I don't feel like it's any less substantial. I have started a little bit of my one line a day. There's one line a day tracking one page for each month of the year and then a whole bunch of habit tracker pages, which is awesome. So I started doing that one for January as well. Let me know if you want to see more bullet journal videos on my channel. I really would love to share more, even though I don't do the typical artistry type of bullet journaling, but I'm finishing this one up and I'm going to use this one and a different Loish term. And so I would love to make more videos about those things if you want to hear about them. So let me know in the comments below and I'll do those videos for you. I really love the Claire Habit Journal. I have a link down below. If you use the link, you can save $10 and I will also earn $10. So it's a win-win. It's a great deal because when I picked this up, I didn't have the $10 off link and I wish I would have. So kind of like Erin Condren and those other companies. So I'll have the link to this journal below. There's also great other products to check out on the website of Baron and Fig. Check that out if you're interested. So my next favorite is something I know I talk about ad nauseum on the channel but it was a favorite this month and so I have to share it. I wanna be doing more goal-oriented videos. My 2019 power sheets were a huge favorite. I always get really into them, especially at the beginning of the year. There were originally four designs of a cover, including this multi-cover, which has sold out. January was awesome. This is a really helpful tool for me. I'm really excited to share more about my goals and my goal setting with this product throughout the rest of the year. So of course, the link is down below. My next favorite is a techie favorite. My husband got me an awesome little gift for Christmas. And I have to say, it's bar none been one of my favorite things that I've used this month because I use it every day. This is the Anchor, I'm looking at the title here in my bullet journal, the Anchor iPhone wireless charging stand. And I have wanted one of these for a long time. My husband picked this one up for me on Amazon for Christmas. It's very well priced. I want to say it's right around 20 bucks. It is plugged in here with the cord into a regular USB outlet. Your phone apparatus doesn't plug into anything. When you stick it on here, you can see as soon as you set it onto your stand, your phone automatically charges. And it charges really quickly. It's awesome if you're looking for something like this. My next favorite, I wanted to share uh, a YouTuber and then one of the things that I got from this YouTuber this month as my next favorite, I actually meant to share this in December and I just forgot. I have really been enjoying the practice of journaling. I finished my most recent journal at the end of December. So it was kind of fun to go into a new journal right at the start of the new year. This particular one I don't have a link to, but I'm showing you this just because the practice of journaling was absolutely one of my favorite things this month. I love to journal. It's one of my favorite ways to write. But in particular, I started doing a series of journaling prompts from the YouTuber Matt Ragland. I'll put a link to his channel below. His channel is definitely a favorite. He does a lot of bullet journal and productivity videos, and I really like them. I feel like his videos kind of stand out from a lot of other people because when he's putting stuff in his journal, he's not doing all the flowery artwork and all of that. He's really just trying to help you to get productivity techniques and just shows you what he does. It's really simple, really easy to follow. I like the way he explains things. I like the aesthetic of the products that he talks about and I really enjoy his channel. Hello Matt, I hope you're watching. Really enjoyed your videos. Would love to do a collab video with you. I also wanted to share that he had sent out an email list this month of journal prompts. I signed up for his email list and then every day this month I got one journal prompt. I'm happy to say that I have done his journal prompt in my journal every single day this month. If you missed that and that's something that sounds really interesting to you, I know that he does have an ebook of these prompts which he offers. So if I find the link for that, I'll put that below as well. But it really was inspiring to me. It's definitely a practice that I want to keep doing because it really gets the pen moving and gets me writing every day and I really, really love it. So sharing my journal just because I wanted to share the practice of journaling as a favorite and be sure and check out Matt Raglan's channel below. And my last category is of course essential oil favorite. 
favorites. Y'all know I love me some essential oils. I use Yen Living essential oils. I will always share about them on my channel because they are wonderful and I love them. This month in particular, I loved a lot of blends from Yen Living. Being that I live in Texas, January, February, pretty much all the time, but especially right now, I am always looking for the essential oils that are gonna give me the most respiratory support, seasonal support, all those things. An honorary favorite, for respiratory support is of course one of the oils I talk about all the time on this channel. This is RC, which stands for respiratory care. It has three kinds of eucalyptus, peppermint, lavender, cypress, myrtle. It's heavenly. I use it all the time, almost every day, but I especially loved it this month, so this was an honorary favorite. Eucalyptus globulus was my favorite single oil this month. It is just a wonderful, pungent scent. Eucalyptus globulus is really, really good for respiratory support. I would venture to say it's one of the best. I have been putting the eucalyptus globulus into my diffuser with a handful of different essential oils. This month, my diffuser combo that was a winner for me was this particular eucalyptus with citrus fresh. In the past, I have shared a combo that was citrus fresh, rosemary, and eucalyptus radiata, which I love, but this was kind of a variation on that theme. I feel like eucalyptus globulus just gives it a little more punch, or just combining this one in the diffuser with any sort of citrus oil has been wonderful. I picked this up in my essential rewards order. I've used Valor forever. It's one of my favorites, like it is everybody else's, but I have realized that I never ordered the Valor roll-on, and I thought it was a really good value for the price. It smells very floral and musky to me. I love to apply Valor right along my jaw and then I apply it along the back of my neck and then I'll also wear it on my wrist for perfume. Love, love, love this one. So I would say my most favorite essential oil from this month was one I am so sorry that you cannot get right now. This is the Freedom blend that was created for the 2018 Young Living Convention in Utah. And I didn't get my hands on it then, but in December, I wanna say, I can't remember, they had just a couple of days where they were offering a special and you could buy the Root of Vala roller, you could buy Evergreen Essence, which I missed, it got out of stock before I bought it. And you could also order this Freedom Blend and I was really intrigued, this was one I wanted to get. Oh, it smells so good. And oh my gosh, you guys, I wish I had ordered more than one because after I ordered this, I found some information from the Royal Crown Diamond in Young Living in my line who had shared. This Freedom Blend was wonderful for just restlessness or relaxation and sleep support and I wish I had known that because I would have ordered two or three bottles of it. You could only order it for like a day or two and then it was just gone. So I, I'm lucky I got one of them, but I want to share it with you so you can know what's in the blend because when I saw people getting it, they didn't talk about the oils that were in it. Copaiba, lavender, sacred frankincense, vetiver, Idaho blue spruce, peppermint, palo santo, valerian, and rue. So I'm guessing that it's really good for relaxation because of the valerian and the rue. Those are both really good for sleep support, but it's also got sacred frankincense in there, the peppermint. I just love the combination of this. And I wish I had bought more than one, like I said, so I will be babying it. I have put this in the diffuser and just worn it as a perfume. I really, really love it. If you ever get a chance to get your hands on this, grab it up and it has become one of my favorite blends. My last two favorites are great for emotional support. The first one is Harmony. This is in the Feelings Kit. The Harmony blend has incredible oils in it and I love to apply this as a part of a good day protocol. When I apply Harmony, I actually applied it around my belly button. I'm gonna tell you really quickly what's in it. You've got Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, Lavender, Ylang Ylang, Frankincense, Orange, Angelica, Geranium, Hyssop, Spanish Sage, Black Spruce, Coriander, Bergamot, Lemon, Jasmine, Roman Chamomile, Palmarosa, and Rose. It's kind of got everything but the kitchen sink in there. It's wonderful as a perfume if you love a floral scent. And then the other blend that just surprised me, there's always one that tends to come up as a favorite that surprises me. When I go back through and I look at my essential oils, uh, there tends to usually be one or two that I have continually reached for almost subconsciously and not even realized that I loved and then I thought, wait, a minute, I've applied them almost every day. And this month, that oil blend was Gratitude. Love this one, I love the smell of it. It's kind of a little floral, kind of a little earthy. Let's see what's in here, balsam fir, frankincense, coriander, myrrh, ylang-ylang, bergamot, northern lights, black spruce, vetiver, and geranium. I like to apply 
apply this one on my diffuser bracelet, which is an honorary favorite. I just got it when we were on vacation at the beginning of the month and I got it from a independent vendor in Florida where we went. So I don't have a link for it, but it's a really, really cool different colored lava beads bracelet, but you can get a lot of these. You can find a lot of very similar bracelets like this online or in stores. I just would take this and apply it onto my wrist and to the beads and just rub it in and wore it like a perfume and I loved it. This gratitude blend is absolutely fantastic. Those are all of my favorites from January. I hope you enjoyed them. I'll have the links to everything I talked about down below. I would love to know in the comments what your favorite things are. I hope you guys have had a wonderful January. I can't wait to share more videos with you throughout 2019 and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to my channel and you can hit that notification bell so that you won't ever miss a video. Whether I'm hopping on live for a quick conversation or one of these traditionally filmed videos, I hope you guys will keep watching. Take care on the other side of that screen and I'll be back at you soon with another video. Bye friends.